Hello friends, uh, after the surface development of cylinder, cone and prism, today we will see how to develop a surface of a pyramid. In this case, you can see a square pyramid which has a apex and all slant edges starting from the apex connected with the base. Now base here is a square, hence it is called as a square pyramid. So you can see here all lateral surfaces are triangle or you can say the isosceles triangle. Normally. In case of a pyramid, you will find all the lateral surfaces as a triangle and base as a polygon. If it is a pentagonal pyramid, then you will find the base as a pentagon and five lateral surfaces or you can say five isosceles triangles. If it is a hexagonal pyramid, you will find a hexagonal plane at the base and you will find a six isosceles triangle as a lateral surface. Even in the animation you can see when you develop a lateral surface of the square prism you will find a four triangular faces over here. One, two, three and four. Okay. For the square pyramid. Likewise for the pentagon you will find a five lateral surfaces. For the hexagon you will find a six lateral surfaces. So let's start with the problem. Draw the development of lateral surface of hexagonal pyramid having a base side is equal to 40 mm and axis side 90 mm, keeping one side parallel to the VP. We have already understood the concept of keeping side parallel to the VP or resting on corner, resting on a base side in the square prism problem. So here there are two configurations you can see. Now this configuration is resting on corner. Okay, and this configuration is resting on side. So this is also called as a keeping one of the side parallel to the VP and in this case you can say side perpendicular to the VP. So when you say parallel to the VP means parallel to the XY line and when you say perpendicular to the VP then perpendicular to the XY line. So there are two conditions resting on corner and resting on side. Out of that in our question they mention side parallel to the VP. So in first case side is parallel to the VP it means parallel to the XY line. So we will proceed with the first case. So according to that we will start with the top view. Now we are going to draw top view as a hexagon. Here we are going to draw a hexagon using a circle method. So first we will draw a circle of radius 40 mm because base side of the hexagon is 40 mm. So here radius is equal to the side of base is equal to the 40 mm. Now consider horizontal diameter line of the drawn circle and first center as a 1 and distance equal to the radius in a compass. Draw an arc in such a way that it will cut on both sides of the center 1. Repeat the same procedure with the center number 4. Draw an arc having a distance equal to the radius and cut it on both sides. So you will get 1, 2, 3 and 4 points of intersection. Now name all those points in a sequence. Now join all those points to get the required hexagon. Where you can see now one side is parallel to the XY line. So now in the next step project all the points up to the XY line. And only project the center line up to the given height that is 90 mm. Now join all the projectors with the O dash that is apex of the pyramid. As we have already discussed in the prism, when observer observing the stop view from this side, okay, to get the front view, then 1, 2, 3, 4. This much area is visible to the observer. Hence, the edges passing through the 1, 2, 3 and 4 are visible to the observer in the front view. Hence, 1 dash O dash, 2 dash O dash, 3 dash O dash and 4 dash O dash all are visible here. So, darken all the lines. Even in the top view, you can see these edges. These edges are nothing but the slant edges of the pyramid which are visible from the top. Hence, we have darkened all the edges in the top view. Now, draw a line parallel to the extreme slant edge okay at a convenient distance and give the namings o1 because it is your starting point for the development now understand the concept to which slant edge we must draw a parallel line for the development of pyramid so here use slant edge having top view parallel to the xy line now here if i consider o dash 4 dash then its top view is a o4 and this line is parallel to the XY line. 
So this gives you a true length of the slant edge in the front view. Hence, you can use it. Similarly, if I consider O dash and 1 dash, then the top view of this line O1 is parallel to the XY line. Hence, it also gives you the true length of the slant edge in the front view. Hence, you can also use O dash 1 dash. But if you consider the top view of O dash 2 dash or O dash 6 dash and similarly O dash 3 dash and O dash 5 dash, then this O5, O6, O2 and O3 are not parallel to the XY line. Hence, this slant edges cannot be considered for the development of the lateral surface of the pyramid. Hence, we have selected O dash 1 dash or rather you can say O dash 4 dash to draw a parallel line and we are giving names O1 as a starting line. Now, draw an arc. This is a random length arc with the center O and distance equal to the O1. After that, now you take a distance equal to the base side that is 40 mm in a compass, center as a 1 and cut this arc to get the point number 2. Repeat the same procedure with center 2 and distance equal to the 40 mm and cut the arc again to get the point number 3. Now point 3, distance equal to the 40 and center as a 3, cut the arc to get the point number 4. Repeat the same procedure to get the point number 5. Now center is a 5 and distance equal to the again side is equal to 40 mm. Cut the arc to get the point number 6. Similarly, you plot the point number 1 with center as a 6 and distance equal to the 40 mm. So here you will get all the points starting with the 1 and 8 at a 1. Because in the development, it is assumed that the pyramid is rolled over a flat surface for one complete rotation. So it starts with the one and after one rotation, it ends with the one. So we have all the points now. So now join all the points with the darkened lines because all these edges are nothing but the slant edges and it indicates the folded marks also. So hence, all the lines must be joined from the apex to the respective points and darken all of them. Now, as a pyramid, it always has a base like a polygon and polygon is always having a straight edges. Hence, in the development also, you have to join all the base points with the straight lines. Join all the points with the straight lines and darken all of them. I hope the lateral development of pyramid and here it is a hexagonal pyramid is clear to you. Thank you. Thanks a lot.